Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here. Welcome to November. Doesn't seem possible. Seems like yesterday was New Year's Day. But, uh, thank you for being here today. If you will like, share, comment on the post, and then we will be in the fifteenth chapter of the book of Acts, and we'll be looking at a few verses here. We're going to back up and get a running start at it. Verse six gives us again the setting of what's going on. When it tells us that the apostles and the elders were gathered together to consider this matter. And this matter, again, if uh, you remember from yesterday, um, is that um, there were those uh, in the church, uh, Jews, Jewish Christians, um, who were saying that a person had to be uh, circumcised to be saved. Uh, so effectively adding uh, works uh, to this discussion. In verse 7, uh, we read that uh, Peter stands up, it says, after much debate, Peter stands up and says, Brothers, you know that in the early days God made a choice among you that by my mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness to them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us. And he made no distinction between us and them, having cleansed their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why are you putting God to the test by placing a yoke on the neck of the disciples that neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? But we believe that we will be saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, just as they will. Peter, in a nutshell, his uh, great statement is that we are saved uh, by grace alone. And he says here, there's a couple things that he mentions. Uh, again, he says it was uh, God and God alone that saved the Gentiles. Uh, that uh, it was uh, grace um, and uh, grace alone, God alone, that uh, had went to Cornelius and his house um, and saved them. Uh, that uh, he had given them uh, the Holy Spirit just as uh, he had uh, given to uh, the, the church, the, the Jewish Christians. They have the same thing. Uh, their hearts, uh, he says it was an act of faith uh, that uh, they placed their faith in God. It was not any ritual or ceremony. And then he makes a great statement uh, that uh, should pretty much end the debate uh, when he says, why are you trying to put a yoke uh, on their neck, a yoke being what uh, an ox would have around its neck to pull the plow. Why are you trying to put a yoke uh, around these people's uh, neck? When we had been able, this yoke of the law, this yoke of tradition, uh, you're trying to put on them, and we can't keep that ourselves. Uh, we can't even do that. Uh, and he really, um, a very serious accusation, he says, why are you tempting God? Uh, he says, God has already shown us the truth of salvation. The salvation is of grace alone. Uh, and so why are you trying to uh, add to it or change what God has already done? Uh, what God has already established? Why are you uh, trying to uh, add uh, something to it? A yoke is a burden. Why are you trying to make salvation a burden? Is the, we've already seen in our own history as Jews, we couldn't keep the law. Uh, so why are, we, uh, why, why are you expecting them to do it? And he sums it up uh, with this great statement uh, in verse 11. We believe that we will be saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus just as they will. He says we're all going to be saved in the same way. He says if you're saved, you're saved by grace and grace alone. Uh, that was the only thing. The, the gift of God uh, to man, uh, nothing that he has done on his own, no works, no, uh, no effort, uh, not circumcision, not giving, not reading your Bible through you know, every week or going to church or anything else. It is a free gift of God, and it is still a free gift of God. And that is a warning I think still that uh, applies even to us today. Uh, many times, uh, believers, if we're not careful, we'll fall into this same trap. We'll look at someone and say, well, for example, a man, um, 
you, you've all heard some of these things before. Well, that man uh, needs to cut his hair. Or that woman shouldn't wear makeup. Or women ought to shouldn't wear pants. Or you can't play cards. Or you know um, all those things. And and you know there's just all kinds of things that throughout history. Uh, man has tried to add to say this is what you have to do if you're really saved. Uh, but uh, Peter reminds them, we believe that salvation is of grace alone. It is the gift of God. And uh, the second application of that is then that uh, as believers, we need to be busy. We need to be actively involved in sharing the good news of the grace of Jesus Christ. You think about that today, and we'll see you here tomorrow morning.